A warning now about canned tuna. A quick and easy protein lots of families find convenient. Problem is, it's known to contain mercury. Consumer Reports tested some of the most popular brands, and 12 of your size Marilyn Mortz tells us what they found and why they are recommending pregnant people avoid it. Canned tuna. It's cheap, convenient, and full of protein and omega-3 fatty acids. But tuna, just like other fish, can contain mercury. And if you eat a lot of fish, you can expose yourself to this potentially dangerous heavy metal. High amounts of mercury can lead to problems with fine motor coordination, speech, sleep, and walking. It's also a concern for pregnant people, since the fetus's developing brain and nervous system are vulnerable. Because of canned tuna's popularity and potential risk, CR tested five popular brands for mercury. The results? Popular albacore tuna had the highest mercury levels, and light varieties had relatively low mercury on average, though it varied can to can. There were some cans we tested that had high amounts of mercury, and because you cannot tell which can that you purchase has high amounts of mercury, you may be possibly exposing yourself to dangerous levels of this heavy metal. For that reason, Consumer Reports recommends pregnant people avoid tuna. In response, National Fisheries Institute said the mercury levels were well below the limit the FDA allows in canned tuna and that these products are safe to consume. If you're concerned about limiting mercury, if you've eaten no other fish during the week, CR says up to 12 ounces a week of bumblebee chunk light, chicken of the sea light, safe catch wild elite, and starkiss chunk light tunas are the safer choices among the cans they tested. There are other nutritious seafoods that have naturally lower levels of mercury, including oysters, salmon, and sardines. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.